Holla Pete, it's your girl Cherie reporting live for Cherie TV following the Zimmerman case. One of Trayvon's friends is on the stand right you now. Do exactly what time it was when Trayvon Martin left to go to 7-Eleven? No. Did Trayvon Martin have a cell phone with him that afternoon when he left to go to the store? Yes. Did you ever call Trayvon Martin after he left to go to the store? Yes. And what phone did you use to call Trayvon Martin? My phone. Did you have a cell phone? Yes. In 2012, February, what was your cell phone number? They're blocking that stuff out. He's a cute little guy. Oh, Trayvon's friend. His mom, Trayvon's mom, and his dad are boyfriend Martin girlfriend. Answer his cell phone when you called him. Yes. And did he tell you what he was doing? Yes. What was that? He was on his way back. Did he tell you anything about the weather conditions outside? That it was raining. <laughs> did you speak with any cute on that phone call for a long time? No. Was that? Was oh that wait, is that business? Yes. No. After you hung up the phone with Trayvon no. Martin, is that did you ever see? We're speaking no. again. Yeah, I'll say no. when you're done. Okay. What did you do after you got off the phone with Trayvon Martin? Watch TV, play the game. They were playing video and games all day, y'all. There's so much to like about this view of the cross. The skittles were his. This, he was getting the skittles for the guy on the stand, his friend. Trayvon's mom and Chad's dad were boyfriend girlfriend and he was picking up the skittles for chad the first witness to take the stand chad it's a shame that we have to have a day like this and zimmerman looks so guilty right now he is looking guilty. Shifty eyes. Well, if I just put my face right up to the screen, you can see me real well here. Because we can't be opening doors. We're going up to 116 this weekend. Okay. This is a desert here. You know. Holla Las Vegas. But, you know. Can't be sucking all the air conditioning out. That's a damn shame. Alright, well, I'll put this up. I had closed my Facebook because now I'm on Facebook punishment again. You know, and then when you try to leave, they're like, but such and such will miss you, and such and such will miss you. And then I went to the gym and I started thinking of all the such and suches. And I was like, you know, like the cookies, Diane Words. Carrie Brown, like people like that, you know what I mean? I was like, yeah, I'll miss them, you know what I'm saying? So, my Facebook page is now back up. Okay. The fuck? People on in the lineup say, you know, want to be friends? Sure, I'll be your friend. Then it says, you added people you don't know. Let me get to know them. You know? I network. That's what I do for a living. I network. I promote. I meet people. So they need to change. They need to change their role for real. You know, slow your role. So now I got another 30 days where I can't add people. Now you can add me. And I'll confirm that you're my friend. Because when people do that and it says, do you know this person, I always say yes. Why? Because I probably do. I know, I know a lot of fucking people. Oh, wait, we're back in trial. Hold up. Describe those headphones for the jury. Cover your ears. And were you using those headphones that evening? Yes. At any point that evening, did you hear anything that sounded like an argument or a gunshot from outside your residence? Nope. Did you ever go outside your residence that evening? No. Did you ever recall looking outside your residence that evening? No. Did Trayvon Martin come home that night? No. Did you try calling Trayvon Martin's cell phone again that evening after you had spoken with him the first time? Yes. And what happened when you called his cell phone? 
no answer. Okay. Did your mother, Brandy Green, and Tracy Martin come home that Sunday evening? Yes. And were you still awake when they got home? Yes. Did you go to bed after your mother and Tracy Martin came home? Yes. The next day, Monday, February 27th, did you have school that morning? Yes. Did you go to school that morning? Yes. And did you learn at some point that day that Trayvon Martin had been killed? Yes. When did you learn that? After I came home from school. And who advised you that Trayvon Martin had been killed? My mom and Tracy. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. No, that's all I have. Thank you, Cross. Oh, what's the cross examiner going to do with the baby? The kid. I just have a couple of questions. You had said earlier that you were um, watching TV or playing um, the games with Trayvon Martin. Can you repeat that? Yeah, were you playing games, playing on the video games with Trayvon Martin? Yes. Um, was he on the phone much while you were playing those games? I don't remember. Do you remember being on the phone at all? I don't I'm I don't, sorry. I don't remember. Okay, but as you were playing, was he playing the video games with you, or was well, he ever on the phone? Well, he should be sympathetic. He was playing the game with me. Okay. Prosecution. And if we were to look back and say that he left the um, the apartment about, let's say, 6 or so, well, you we don't need to know it exactly, let's say he left about 6, about how many hours have you and he been playing video games? Mm, I don't know. Approximately? I don't remember. I'm sorry? I don't remember. Do you recall how many of those hours of the day you were watching TV with him? No. Not at all? Were you either watching TV or playing games with him that day? I was playing games. Okay. Seems was like the kid is scared of the prosecution. Yes. Uh oh, Big yeah. Bob's coming over. Hi, Big Bob! Bob. Shooting oh. Sheree TV, you want to pop in and say hi to everybody? You can't talk. Well, everybody, i got to go kick it with Big Bob for a little bit before he leaves. He was here for, he was one of the truckers for the raid in Vegas. Anyway, you know I love you, and uh, more Sheree TV coming up soon.